out there in Mechanical Hubland. Uh, I'm John Barba, and welcome to the Takeo booth. We have a lot of cool stuff here that we're showing at AHR. I think what might be my favorite item, however, is this guy, the 0018E. It's a residential variable speed ECM circulator. It's a multifunction circulator, meaning it can do a whole bunch of different things for you. But the thing that I think is most interesting is it has something truly unique in that it has Bluetooth connectivity. We've taken our eight, VR1816 circulator, which many of you are familiar with, and we've added a Bluetooth radio to it, and we've developed an app. What this app allows you to do when it's connected to the circulator is read the circulator. You can put it in the read mode, and then you can also move it into a read-write mode, where you can not only read what the circulator's doing, but you can also program the circulator, and it does allow you to fine-tune this circulator about as well as a circulator can be fine-tuned to the specific needs of a specific job. Let's take a look at it. What we have here with our circulator is our basic three-function VR1816. For the three functions, it has an infinitely variable fixed speed mode. It's kind of like a volume dial. I turn the thing up, the pump goes faster. I turn it down, the pump goes slower. I leave it at a fixed speed, but I can change that fixed speed to whatever I want. It also has constant pressure modes, meaning a uh, type of mode you would use for a zone valve system. It's a variable speed mode, constant pressure, meaning it tries to maintain a fixed pressure differential within the system. As zones close, the pump will go slower. As zones open, the pump will go faster, ideally. So it's the constant pressure mode. And it also has a proportional pressure differential mode. As flow goes down, the head pressure differential created by the circulator goes down. This is really used only in one instance residentially, and that would be a thermostatic radiator valve application where the pump is running continuously. That's the only instance where you'd really use the proportional pressure mode. So for this, we're going to focus on the fixed speed mode and the constant pressure mode. We're gonna, right now I have this thing set up in the constant fi or in the fixed speed mode and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it all the way up so it's running as fast as it can. We call this contractor no callback mode. So right now I have it connected to a three zone system. All of my zones are open but realistically this would be the mode you would use if the circulator was a zone pump, one pump per zone. But I want to show you its functionality here. All zones calling, circulator running as fast as it can what I have now plotted on my app, this will show up on the app and it'll adjust itself in real time. Plotted on my app is the actual application mode or the actual operating mode. This little blue dot right here, that's where the circulator is actually running. The app will also tell me, if I look at it, the app will tell me the flow rate. Right now I'm pumping at almost nine gallons a minute at just about 10 feet ahead where this dial is, all right? If I were to turn this thing down to make it go slower, what you'll see is the dot, my operating point, is going to move. It's got to find its little happy spot, and it'll tell you where the circulator is operating at that point within that system. So as we turn it down, we see the flow is going to go down, and the head pressure differential created by the circulator is going to go down. The wattage consumption is going to go down. The RPM is going to come, going to come down as well, and we can read that all right on the app. So right now I'm down to about seven gallons a minute, a little over seven, a little under eight feet ahead actually. 29 watts as opposed to the 43 watts at full speed and the RPM has gone down to about 3400. And again the more I, sh I turn this thing down the slower it goes and I can read it on the app. So I don't have to guess anymore. What I can do is I, if I know the flow rate for a zone pump and I don't really need to know the head, I just need to know the flow rate. If I know the flow rate's three gallons a minute, a 30,000 BTU zone, I just turn this thing down until I see three gallons a minute. It'll give me the head loss differential and it'll do the pumping that I need for that zone, which is really the first time we've been able to do this. Maybe the coolest thing about this is if I have a replacement pump, let's say I have a zone valve system that pumps dead and I want to replace it and I want to get the pump set up as close to accurate as I possibly can. Again, this is an instance where you only need to know the flow rate of the system. And you can infer that from the load. If you have a pretty good idea that maybe this is a 70,000 BTU 
system in this home. It's a zone valve system, 70,000 BTUs. I know by doing math, the universal hydronics formula, BTUH divided by delta T times 500 equals my GPM. 70,000 BTUs divided by a delta T of 20 times 500 or 10,000. I know I need seven gallons per minute in that system. I can program this as accurately as I can and all I need to know is the flow. Again, I go to my Bluetooth mode, or I go to my blue mode, my fixed speed mode, and I adjust the flow until the app reads just about seven gallons a minute. It will tell me what the head loss is through that piping system when I have this thing set to seven gallons a minute. So I just keep moving it up and moving it up until I see seven gallons a minute pop up on my app, or I get as close as I can to seven gallons per minute. So right about now, I'm about 6.7, 6.9 gallons a minute, seven gallons a minute. I'm just about nine feet ahead. Seven gallons a minute, just about eight and a half to nine feet ahead. Okay, cool. Now, to program this for constant pressure differential, which is what you want to use for zone valves, I'll turn my dial all the way to the left until I'm in the read-write Bluetooth mode. Now, not only will my app read what the pump is doing, I can use the app to tell the pump what to do. I have different settings here. By pressing my constant pressure setting, my constant pressure button, I now have nine different constant pressure settings from which to choose. And what I'll do now here is I'll probably pick this one right here. Just by touching the screen, I program the pump to just about seven to eight gallons a minute. And you'll see that my operating point's starting to move. It's starting to adjust to that line. So right now, in this mode of operation, I have about seven gallons, a little over seven gallons a minute. I'm at right about eight feet ahead, which we'll see if that works. That should be just about right. If I need to bump it up, I pick the next one up. Now we've made the pump go a little bit faster. We've picked a higher pressure differential setting and we're gonna work just fine. Again, we're at about seven gallons a minute here, right about eight, yeah, this will probably be the right one. We're about seven, a little over seven gallons a minute at a little over eight feet ahead, probably the safer selection. But it allows you for the first time, what this does is it allows us for the first time to actually see what's going on inside the pipe, actually see what the system is doing in real time with real, with real numbers. So we don't have to guess anymore. We don't have to just pick contractor, no callback mode, presume that's good enough and walk away. We can actually fine tune the circulator to as close as it could, as about as close as we can get with a constant pressure circulator. Delta T might get you a little bit closer, but this is about as close as we can get with a delta P variable speed circulator to maximize the performance of the system, maximize the efficiency of the boiler, and uh, reduce short cycling, and have the system set up to work like a champ for many years to come. That's what we have. That's the Takeo 0018E. Thanks for joining us.